GoPuff is changing everything insofar as how you're paid as a driver working on this platform as a side hustle. And the thing is, it is live right now. It is live today. So in this video, I'm going to go over this announcement, who is affected and how to adjust your strategy on this side hustle. Starting today, November 28th, we will introduce a new delivery partner pay component at select locations across the US. So here it is, wait time, which will replace Place minimum guaranteed pay. So when you're working on GoPuff, you go to the warehouse, you get bin assignments, you deliver to the customer, rinse and repeat. And if you didn't hit a certain threshold for that scheduled block, you'd earn that minimum guaranteed pay. That's gone. That's changing. This minimum guaranteed pay ensures scheduled delivery partners are appropriately compensated when they don't have an active earning opportunity. In other words, when they're waiting at the facility, for their next order. I think that is massive. Think about, for instance, if you do food delivery, can you imagine racking up some earnings? Like there's a counter where you're getting paid for that time where you're waiting, not getting an assignment. This is what GoPuff is doing here. So when you're parked and you're waiting, you gotta be at the warehouse actually, but you're getting some kind of payment for just waiting. Here is what you can expect from the new pay component for scheduled partners. That's underlined, very important. I'm gonna tell you why. A simplified calculation, wait pay is made up of just two parts, how many scheduled minutes you're waiting at the facility and the facility's per minute rates. Because honestly, I mean, look here, look at the before and after of the guaranteed pay versus the wait pay. Look at the calculation of how it's calculated. It is so much easier versus like this times this minus this plus this versus just the two components. I do like that a lot better. More earnings transparency with wait pay. You'll have a clear picture of your earnings at the end of each block or shift instead of at the end of each week. That sounds good. Access to your earnings faster. You can cash out to your wait pay pay just one hour after your scheduled block ends. Get paid to wait, but don't wait for your pay. <laughs> Clever, GoPuff. So in your marketplace, how much am I going to get paid to simply wait with no assignment? And hang with me until the end of the video. We're going to answer the question, I mean, should you? Is it even worth it to get paid to wait? Wait pay tracks your scheduled minutes waiting at the facility. So you'll see it displayed in the facility details page as a per minute rate. And an example below. Now I'm getting this from my email, but again, you can see this in your GoPuff driver app on the facility details page. So for instance, here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, right here, our downtown warehouse, which is the one I typically drive at, I pick up from 15 cents per minute. And then we have a South warehouse here. You can see also 15 cents a minute. So check your email and or your facilities detail page on your GoPuff driver app. Let me know what your per minute pay is down below in the comments. And by the way, if you're trying to catch some Cyber Monday deals or just deals in general to help yourself with these side hustles, save you the headaches, save you the time, check out our team storefront. It's linked down below so you can get the best deals on the best accessories. So remember I said, why? Why is scheduled time underlined? Why was that emphasized? Because there's two ways to go online, if you didn't know, when you're driving for GoPuff. So you can go online immediately. Now, granted, you got to be at the warehouse, but once you're there, you can go online. Or you can schedule that shift ahead of time. So this reads, when will I start earning wait pay? Starting today, during a scheduled block, you will earn wait pay for as long as you are, number one, in an active workday. That just means you're online. So GoPuff is like, hey, you swipe to start your workday, whatever. That's the verbiage they use. At your scheduled location, as I mentioned, there's really a tight geofence, at least here in Pittsburgh. So you got to basically be within eh, maybe a half block of the warehouse to count in the geofence. And do not have an assigned order because, again, you're getting paid to wait. And that turns off, obviously, once you get a bin assignment. Okay, now look at the numbers here. Here's where we're going to answer, is this worth it? And look, between me and you, I mean, my name is Mike. I help you make money in different side hustles if this is the first time that you and I are meeting. It comes down to obviously like the effort. How hard is it? Do I like it? But 
Honestly, for a lot of us, it comes down to the numbers and does the math make sense? So look at this. So here's their screenshot of typical order history. You'll see, hey, you've delivered at this time. You made another delivery at this time. And now we see this at the bottom. So this example, one hour and four minutes earning wait at facility pay. Now I'm really curious, what's the time window for this wait time? Like, is this a three hour shift, a four hour shift? Because if I'm waiting an hour and four minutes, how much am I sitting there not doing anything? And I'm getting that 15 cents a minute. Like if it's a four hour shift, then I'm waiting 15 minutes per hour. That's not bad because I get there, I wait like a minute or two and I come back, I do another delivery. It's maybe a couple of minutes versus like mm, a two hour shift Then I'm waiting 30 minutes out of each hour. And sure, I'm getting paid. But again, is it worth it here? 15 cents a minute times 64 minutes waiting here, I get paid $9.60 for this basically hour of dead time here. But look at this, doesn't make sense because the previous pay method that I mentioned, what's discontinued today is that minimum hourly guarantee. Now here in Pittsburgh, it was $9. But remember, this is a touch over an hour. It's 64 minutes of wait time. So if you brought it down to 60 minutes, it's the same pay at least here in Pittsburgh, the hourly minimum guarantee that's discontinued today would have been $9 an hour versus now the wait time per minute, 15 cents per minute. It's the same thing. It equates to $9 an hour. So to determine if this is worth it, what is paying you more? I need you to think about this. Do the calculation. Your previous minimum hourly guarantee or the new per minute wait time. Okay, great, great. But again, when it comes to strategy, is this worth it? And what should your strategy be with the per minute wait time versus the previous hourly earnings guarantee? So with this side hustle, folks, with GoPuff, the strategy is volume. And not a lot of other side hustles are like this. Like for instance, on DoorDash and food delivery, you want one massive order that pays you a lot and you drive a little. That margin there is a dollars to mile ratio. How much am I getting paid for the miles driven? Again, getting paid a lot, but I don't have to drive very far, so I'm conserving the wear and tear in the vehicle. Where on GoPuff, I'm already at the facility. You're going to park at the facility and wait for a bin request. You want volume. You don't want one bin assignment. You go in there, you take the stuff from the one bin, you deliver it to the customer, and then you got to come back. And you get paid per stop on GoPuff plus tips. So if I'm driving on GoPuff, I want three bin assignments. And that seems to be the max here in Pittsburgh, but I would love to have like a four bin assignment or five bin assignment if possible. If that is possible, comment down below. But it is a volume strategy on GoPuff. Again, a lot different than the one big request on let's say even ride share or food delivery. With GoPuff, I want two and three bin assignments only because otherwise I'm just yo-yoing back to the warehouse. I'm doing all that extra driving. And my another problem with GoPuff is I can't decide how many bins I'm getting and I can't decide where they're going as well. So is the wait time pay better than the hourly earnings guarantee? I mean, for me, statistically, no. We saw that it's basically the same exact pay. Now, again, you'll have to decide that margin which would have paid better. But my overall verdict is minimum guaranteed pay. And I've seen this on other apps as well. Minimum guaranteed pay is going to be just that. It's going to be an absolute floor of a minimum. It's not going to make you ever any real money. It's going to be like this. It's going to be nine bucks, $10, maybe $13 an hour. What's going to pay you the most in this case, it's volume plus tips, but on most any single app, it's also going to be the bonus pay. Another reason I don't love GoPuff because they haven't seen a ton of bonus pay. Comment down below if you've seen a decent amount of bonus pay on GoPuff. But this is why those things combined, the wait time at the facility, at least you're getting paid for it here, the lack of bonus pay, and the unknowns of where you're going and how many stops you're going to have, that is why continually going into 2023, GoPuff is in the bottom third of my side hustle list. But let me know down below, does it have a place in your side hustle arsenal that's a little bit better 
Do you like it? Is it maybe even the best side hustle in your marketplace? I'd be really curious about that. Or do you agree that is a kind of uh, last resorts or backup side hustle? Drop a like on this video. You can also click or tap the screen here for my newest video, as well as a video recommended for you. And I'll see you in the next one.